Hi, it's January 26, 2009. I'm responding to, uh, to a video from Don Harrell where he interviews uh, Jeff Mackey, uh, a CNBC's uh, trader uh, from Fast Money. And, you know, he's one of those TV personalities that you see that tells you to buy stocks that are going down. Now, Don, um, you know, is, is very kind with this guy and not... Uh, not rude or anything like that, but what uh, what what really piqued my interest and in what I'd like to debate equitably with Don Harold or with anybody who believes what Do Jeff had just finished saying uh, in any part that uh, hey you know what um, he was saying well let me just let you let you listen to what he was saying short of doing that because most people aren't going to spend the time to do that because they don't have the time to do that. They're worried about their jobs. They should be accumulating cash. And and I get abused about that because, you know, the gold bugs hate me for it and, and this, that, and the other thing. But I tell you what, cash of any sort is a relative vehicle. And and meaning that, that you know, the U.S. dollar is worth nothing unless the, the yen is worth something or the ruble is worth something. And and our cash is is the best of a crappy breed. And so, you know, accumulating dollars, it's safer than gold because if we get to the point where we have to bribe the border guards with gold, we're screwed nine ways from Sunday. I, 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 okay. So what she's saying that basically, if if I interpret that correctly, and please correct me if I'm wrong, is that if you buy gold, you're buying insurance, like you know, if you were to buy insurance for your house. And thus, if your house were to burn down, you're screwed six ways from Sunday, so why bother? Uh, that doesn't make sense to me, personally. Um, if you want, want a wealth insurance, you should go out and buy it. it I mean, sure. Is if if the dollar goes to to zero, will it be bad? Hell yes. But is that does that make sense to, for you to hold just dollars only as your way of protecting yourself? It doesn't make any sense. That's like not buying a house ins home insurance. Anyways, Don Harold continues, and they continue to talk about this subject, and I want to. Respond to the other the other comment that they've made. I tell you something. Well, you, what, I mean, what you just. I mean, I, I have a, a similar philosophy. Uh, I argue you want some cash, you want some gold, you want some silver, you want some food. You basically want to do everything that our grandparents would have done. All right? I mean, so I, I I would differ in that I'd have some gold, but I can tell you something. You have to have a balanced approach. And and some of the folks that watch my video, even right now, hearing you talk about going into some cash. Wait till you see the message board comments. <laughs> they're gonna be, they're gonna be all, he's crazy. You can't have cash. You can only have gold. And I just think it's nuts. You gotta have a balanced approach. He and and I would say to them, okay, so grind up some gold dust, uh, you know, and and drive to your grocery store and see if you can, can exchange it for a loaf of bread. You know, I mean, it, it's by the same logic. I want to buy a bunch of guns. Okay. With that, uh, with that logic, let's 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 think about that logic for a second. So what you're saying is that if I were to take a thousand dollar bills, which in Canada we do have thousand dollar bills here, uh, I believe the United States did have thousand dollar bills. I'm not sure if they do anymore. But if I were to take a thousand dollar bill and I go down to my grocery store and I rip off a piece because hey, you know what? They don't exactly accept that. Then that would uh, that would uh, that would show how stupid I was for bringing cash, a thousand dollar bill to this grocery store. That is absolutely the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. I mean, you go and make change at the bank, just like here with gold, you go and make change at the bank, and you get yourself some paper money. So Don Hero, of course, he he says a balanced approach. And you know what? That makes sense. That that does make sense. However, um, I would I would uh, disagree with uh, Don Hero's approach on how he, how much money that he has 
um, I'm sure, in his trading account. I'm sure most of his savings and most of his life's work is stuck in cash uh, in his trading account. And uh, I'm sorry, buddy, but you, you need to take a look at what around you and see what time it is. It ain't time to be holding a whole lot of cash. And finally, uh, a person who uh, also answered the same question that uh, Don Harrow presented to Jeff was uh, Mark Faber on Bloomberg Television News on January 12th. Um, I'm going to play a clip for you, and everything he said there is exactly what I believe. Well, it depends. Each person has different financial conditions, has right. different asset allocations, and so forth. But in general, I think you can trade this rally here in index futures, ETFs, in uh, physical commodities, precious metals, and so forth. But at some point mm -hmm. uh, in January to March of next year, you have to get out because the global economy is imploding. I'm repeating, imploding. And it's right. not going to be a recovery despite all the Got government it. intervention. Got it. Okay, did you hear that? Let me let me break it down for you, right? Because maybe you, some of y'all are not hearing, okay? He's saying, get yourself some gold, get yourself some silver, get yourself some real things for the average person. Now, if you're mega rich, obviously, and you, you have other needs, right? You're going to have to, you know, balance your stuff out, just like Don Harrell says, right? But... At the end of the day, what he's telling you is that all the ETFs, all the, uh, the, the futures market, and all that stuff is going down. It's going to implode. And if you've got your money, if you've got dollars, if you've got your money in, in, uh, in futures market, uh, futures uh, contracts, if you've got it in the ETF, if you've got it in the, C the CEF fund, if you've got it in any of these places where they're not going to send you the gold, good luck. 